Peace, peace. It's Mel from the Defense Coalition. Back again with another episode of Black Powder Adventures. Today, what I want to show you guys is the 20 gauge Pedersoli Howder Hunter Pistol. I ordered this a couple days ago and it got here just that fast. So I just want to let you know that DixieGunWorks.com is just as good as Amazon Prime because this ended up at my door before I even got the tracking information for it. So shout out to Dixie Gunworks and UPS. I went ahead and slit this open, but I promise you I did not open the box yet. I wanted y'all to be a part of this. So let's get into it. Right, so we got the shotgun itself. This is a weird box. You gotta be careful. You might, might throw away some stuff you actually need. So be sure to inspect these contents thoroughly. Let me just get that moved over to the side. Comes with an instruction manual here. This is your owner's manual. Comes with the CD. I don't know, it looked like it's some classical music or some shit on here. But it comes with this. I'm probably not gonna be using that. Okay, yeah, so some more instructions here. Oh, this is from Dixie. Okay, yeah, make sure you read this. This is important. Put that with the manual. And this says, do not throw away. Examine contents thoroughly. Okay, so yeah, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at that. We'll look at that at some point. All right, here it is. Pedasoli, Pedasoli 20 gauge. Sawn off shotgun. We have our ramrod here. It's very lightweight. Just shoves down in there. We got this bead right here for our sight. This gold bead. So the rear trigger is going to shoot this left barrel, but I don't like to dry fire anything like this because you don't want these hammers to land directly on the nipple without a cap on it. And these take number 11 percussion caps. And without a cap, it's not gonna fire. Look how beautiful this is. Put all the engraving on it. Nice checkering on the wood. Solid metal. Perfect. This is a beautiful gun. All throughout. And it says 20 cal here. That's not 20 cal. This is a 20 gauge. More like a 60 cal. Anyway, a lot of people may not know the history behind these. The purpose of these guns in Asia, in the jungles, a lot of people would carry these for defense against big cats such as tigers. And they would have these while they were on the back of elephants up in a howdah. That thing that the elephants carried, that was called a howdah. And they would be up there in the jungles and you have cats, big cats, that would climb up the elephant and into the howdah and kill the people that are in there, you know? So to prevent that, a lot of people had these. And I wanted to show you guys everything all together, but... This gun got here before my ammo did. But what a lot of people would do is they would put a big shot in here. They would put a big ball in here along with some buckshot, which is called buck and ball. That's clearly the most devastating round concoction that you could fire out of one of these is buck and ball, in my opinion. These came in numerous variations. They have um, a 58 caliber, this one, which is a 20 gauge smooth bore. And you got other ones that have uh, rifle barrels. I gotta clean this up. So there it is, y'all. This is your Pedasoli 20 gauge pistol. And I think I got the last one from Dixie because when I checked a couple days ago or yesterday, when I checked yesterday, I didn't see any more of them up there. So good luck finding one of these because Taylor's doesn't have them right now. Neither does Midway, and I think this was the last one that Dixie had. I mean, if you could find one on Gunbroker or something, or maybe when Patasoli sends out some more, you'll be lucky enough to get your hands on one of these. I got it relatively cheap as well, so I'm happy for that. I'm glad to have it. I've always wanted one. I've always been enamored by these things. I'm glad to have it. I'm happy to have it here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Beautiful collector's piece. Excellent for home defense, by the way. So if you have a checkered past and you can't have a traditional shotgun 
This is a do you swell. Trust me, just don't get in no trouble with it. It's very elegant gun. This is pre-Civil War. I don't think they used these in the Civil War. I think they should have. It would have been an excellent piece of artillery weapon to add to the arsenal. Great piece of artillery. These slowly phased out, believe it or not. And now, since this is uh, just a percussion shotgun, this is on the list of black powder replica antiques that no one really cares about. But I care. I care about this stuff. I love this kind of stuff. I love nostalgia. I am an avid collector of all of this stuff. I got a patch stuck in there, so I kind of had to MacGyver some shit together to get that patch out. Got it right out. Came right out. The ammo will be here on the 9th, according to FedEx. So I'm going to be back with another video on this, like a follow-up. If I do say so myself, if I'm going to spend $1,000 on a shotgun, this is it. Hands down, this is it. The more and more popular cap and ball gets, the more expensive these guns are, and the harder this particular model is to find. It was very hard to find this one, but I knew... Dixie would probably have it. They have them in other variations, but the 20 gauge, I'm not gonna say forget about it, but good luck finding it. Smell from the Defense Coalition. You guys stay safe out there as always. Don't get in no shit.